okay so now we'll look at our visual representation of the same formula let's write down the formula first rm was r1 weight 1 plus r2 weight 2 divided by w1 plus w2 okay let's look at an example also let's say uh, a group has uh, eight people so this would be your r1 their average weight is given as let's say 40 kg and there are uh, four people and their average weight is given as 70 kg okay so what would be the new average weight if these two groups are combined so this would be your r2 and this would be your weight 2 why because this this is 40 kg per person yeah, weight per person and there are 8 people this is 70 kg per person and there are 4 person or 4 people involved here so if I plug in these values here I will get the answer straight away which will not be too much of a problem but we want to do it by the visual approach so we will see how that works okay uh, this is called the scale method also called allegation in some areas okay but this is the approach here Draw a line first of all, I am telling it step by step, draw a line which is a very very easy step. On one side of the line write uh, rate 1, on the other side write rate 2, okay. Above rate 1, this is this is not a mathematical representation, it is more of a visual representation. Put weight 1 and put weight 2, right. Uh, and you put a ratio sign here that means you're not interested in the number you're interested in the ratio so let's put that information here and and see what will happen so r1 in r we we uh, we remember if our, if we remember our data uh, r1 was 40 and r2 was 70 weight 1 was 8 and weight 2 was 4 okay so this 8 is to 4 becomes a ra the ratio becomes 2 is to 1 yeah. Once you've got this ratio, or you could have just called it W1 is to W2 also. Once you've got this ratio, write this ratio, flip this and write it down in terms of W2 is to W1 or 2 is to 1. Now, writing this ratio here below this line means that you have to divide this line into two parts. One, two parts. The parts are in the ratio 2 is to 1, okay. This part is 2x, so this part would be 1x, yeah. So once again, uh, we look at the steps again, but so, so far I have taken the ratio and written it uh, in, in the reverse form here, okay. Now what does this mean? This means divide the ratio, the, this scale or this line into two parts in this ratio, okay. This line is how long? This line is 70 minus 40, right, 70 minus 40. So the length of this line is 30. You want to divide it into two parts, which are of uh, which is 2x and 1x, so total becomes 3x. This 3x is equal to 30. So the two parts would be 20 and 10. Yeah, you could have also done this part is 2 by 3 of the difference, which is 70 minus 40, and this part would have been 1 by 3 of the distance, which is 70 minus 40, 30. Right. So once we get this. The parts as 20 and 10, the ratio is given as 2 is to 1. This is 20 away from 40, right? And we are moving from 40 towards 70. So 20 away from 40 would be 60. Or 10 away from 70 back in this direction would be 60 again. So the average you have found out is 60. Okay. So the method once again would be, I will repeat the method here. You draw a line. You put the rate 1 and rate 2 here. This would depend on knowing very clearly what the rates and weights are. Put the weight 1 and weight 2 here. This is the ratio of mixing. Okay. Put a ratio here. Once you put a ratio here, convert this ratio, flip it and write it below the line. So that you have to understand, you understand that this scale or this line is divided into two parts in the ratio W2 is to W1. Okay. So when, once you do, so let's say this part is P1 and this part is P2, it would be your rate mean would be rate 1 plus P1, you get to rate mean or rate 2 minus P2, you get to rate uh, the mean rate also, okay. Once we do more examples with this, it will make more sense, okay. Stop. Let's try one more example with the same method. 
let's say you have two kinds of rice the rate for one rice is uh, 10 rupees per kg the rate for the other rice is 20 rupees per kg and uh, you've taken let's say 4 kgs of this rice which would be weight 1 and you've taken 1 kg of this rice which would be weight 2 now I'm already spelling this out here but in the language form this information would have been hidden so you would have had to look at this numerator by denominator form which tells you this is the rate and this is the rate and for this rate this kg kg is the weight and kg kg is the weight now the scale method we can obviously do this by the formula the scale method will work like this okay or allegation you can also call it so you put the rate 1 here rate 1 is 10 so write 10 you put the rate 2 there so it is 20 okay you put the rate 1 above weight 1 which would weight 1 above rate 1 which would be 4 and weight 2 above rate 2 which would be 1 okay remember this is rate 1 this is rate 2 this was weight 1 this is weight 2 and you put the ratio sign here and you know this ratio itself is simplified form which is 4 is to 1 you reverse this ratio and write it below the scale 1 is to 4 and what is the meaning of writing it below the scale in this ratio means the scale has to be divided into two parts one part which is one fifth of the total the other part which is four by five of the total or two parts which are in the ratio one is to four so this part would be one by five of the whole thing so one by five of the whole thing and the whole thing is how much 20 minus 10 so one fifth of 20 minus 10 20 minus 10 is 10 one fifth of 10 is 2 so this part would be 2 the overall it was 10 so this part would be 8 right so 10 plus 2 12 or 20 minus 8 12 so I get my average price as the or the mean rate as 12 if I would have used the formula I would have got the same thing just that uh, once we get the hang of this method this could be faster in a lot of situations okay now uh, we'll be looking at more examples and next time onwards we'll be doing the formula as well as the scale method plus we also try and use the approach that we learned earlier of dividing it equally okay stop So this question uh, borrowed rupees 6000 rupees 6000 at a rate of 4% and borrowed 4000 so this is the second story 4000 at a rate of 6% we clearly see it is mentioned in the question itself rates are given and this is uh, interest rate that we are talking about so the interest is uh, interest rate is interest upon the principal that means the weight is the principal right so now draw the line here put the rate on one side put the rate on other side okay above the rate put the weight which would be 6000 above the rate put the weight which would be 4000 now take the ratio form this ratio form will become 3 is to 2 flip it it becomes 2 is to 3 so my answer is going to be if i want to stretch my answer what does this mean this means that it has to be divided into uh, this scale has to be divided into two parts which are in the ratio 2 is to 3 so this part would be how much would be 2 fifth of how much 6 minus 4 which is 2 so 2 fifth of 2 would be 0 0.8 or 3 fifth of 2 would be 1.2 right or your overall answer could have been 4% plus 2 fifth of 6 minus 4 or 6% because we are coming 4% we are going ahead that's why the plus from 6% we are coming back so 6% minus 3 by 5 of 6 minus 4 which would in both cases give me 4.8% okay uh, we followed each step I hope this made sense okay because now we're going to try the same problem with the uh, different approaches okay we use the uh, divide equally approach and we we'll use the understanding that we know this number doesn't matter the ratio matters so if I did it for 3 and 2 it would be the same as doing it for 6000 and 4000 okay so now I would just think that there are three people with 4% 
and there are two people with six percent okay i'll take this four percent as the average i'll bring in these two people also at four percent so they would be five people with four percent yeah but the truth is these two people had two percent extra each so overall they carried four percent extra right this four percent extra should also be divided between five people because there are five people now everybody gets 0.8 percent right so we are already given 4%, let's give them 0.8% also. So for the 5 people, the overall rate would be 4.8%. Yeah. So it could be done like this also. Of course, we could do it using the standard formula, but I don't think we need to look at that right now. Stop. Okay, let's try one more example now this time with the uh, solutions so let's say there is one solution with 40 percent milk and there are there is a total of 40 liters of the solution there is another solution which has 50 percent milk and let's say there is a total of 10 liters of that solution okay so first of all this is 40 percent milk and this is 50 percent milk what does it mean? This is one solution which has milk and water. Milk is 40%. That means the remaining would be water. Water would be 60%. Similarly, this solution has milk and water. Milk would be 50% and water also would be 50%. And these two are being put together. They are being mixed together. And the question is, what will be the milk percentage in the new solution? Once I put them together, what will be the milk percentage in the new solution? The question could also be what will be the water percentage in the new solution or it could be what is the ratio of milk and water etc etc. So we will be using the scale method we know to, to draw the line put the rates here this is a rate right 40% milk means milk by total when we did we got 40% this is the rate so 40% comes here or the percent was a giveaway and the 50% comes here. What is the weight for this? It is 40 liters. What is the weight for this? It is 10 liters. We find the ratio. The ratio is 4 is to 1. Reverse the ratio. It becomes 1 is to 4. Right? So my final answer is going to be 40. Right? Plus because we are moving ahead of 40. This is 1 fifth of the whole thing. This is 4 fifth of the whole thing. So 40 plus 1 fifth of the whole thing. And the whole thing is going to be 50 minus 40. Right? So this gives me the answer as 42% so this would be 2 this would be 8 I could have also done 4 by 5 of 10 is 8 50 minus 8 is 42 or 50 minus 4 by 5 of 50 minus 40 will give you 42 so we've got the answer using the scale method here but we'll be looking at not using the scale method because uh, we can do it by very simple ratio percentage understanding also the question was what is the final percentage of milk in the solution we remember the rates were 40% uh, and 50% and the total volume was 40 liters and 10 liters okay so we have to find when we ask somebody is asking for milk percentage is asking for milk by total ratio right essentially so just put milk in the numerator milk in the numerator right 40% of 40 liters is milk right so the total would be 16 liters 50% of 10 liters which would be 5 liters this is the milk involved here right we're just figuring out how much milk is here 40 percent of 40 liters which would be 16 how much milk here 5 liters right and how much is the total 40 liters plus 10 liters which would be 50 liters so my milk by total is 21 by 50 or 42 by 100 the, if I move the total here, milk is 42% of the total, okay. So once I've got the ratio of milk and total which is 42 by 100 or 21 by 50, I can also figure out milk and water. I know milk is 21, total is 50, so water must be 29, so 21 is to 29 is the ratio of milk and water. This could be converted into percentage also. So we use the scale form but we can do it without the scale form also or without even thinking of weighted averages just milk by total we had to figure out here okay so that would work in a lot of questions you can do something by the scale method or the formula or just by simply figuring out what the question is asking us to do okay stop 
Let's try the same question with the uh, divide equally approach that we had tried earlier. So the rate is 40 percent, everybody has got 40 percent and everybody here has got 50 percent. We know that the actual quantities are not important so we can deal with 4 and 5 also. So let's say 4 people, now we are thinking of people rather than liters but that's an abstraction in our head. 4 people have 40 percent and 5 people have 50 percent. Let's bring all of them together. Let's say that now there are 9 people and let's bring in all of them at 40 percent only so there are nine people and everybody has 40 percent or there is nine liter and it has 40 percent milk but the truth is here okay sorry this should have been 10 liters right so this so this would become five so five liters with 40 percent but the the truth is uh, that this guy this one person here has got 10 extra because we're bringing in everybody at 40 he's got 10 extra this 10 should be divided equally between five people so this 10 divided by 5 gives you 2 everybody should get 2 extra so my overall answer would become 42 uh, percent I'm sorry about the error but I hope this made sense stop yeah this uh, the scale is quite easy to use when the the data all the data is given in the standard format so let's play around when the data format might change a little so let's say uh, a rice which cost rupees 10 rupees per kg is mixed with another rice of unknown price i do not know what the price is okay and uh, 20 kgs of this were taken and 20 kgs of this were taken the resultant price was uh, 20 rupees per kg right so the story is there was 10 rupees per kg rice 20 kgs of it was mixed with another kind of rice where the rate we do not know but we know how many kgs were involved when these two were put together or mixed together the overall price of the new variety was 20 rupees per kg okay so we want to use a scale method only uh, but see what the difference is so i know 10 rupees per kg is a rate so i can put it on one side the other rate is not given here so just put it as x here and follow the same process the weights are 20 and 20 20 and 20 so this ratio would become 1 is to 1 even if i write it backwards it still is 1 is to 1 right but I know my average, my rate M I already know, so I'll mark it somewhere as 20, right? So the scale is already divided because I know the resultant, the scale is already divided for me, right? So this section is 20 minus 10, 10. I know this section and this section are equal because they are of the same ratio, 1 is to 1. So if this is 10, this would also be 10. 20 plus 10 gives you 30, right? So we're using the scale only, but it's this time... Uh, we not I mean the we did not use the linear way we went around a little but the same method is being used the same approach is being used so we need to understand it from all possible directions practicing with certain questions will definitely help in that direction but yeah it works here okay stop